Thinkorswim tutorial, reading a position statement. Now, we've been in the monitor tab uh, for the better part of these this first set of our tutorials. We're going to stay right there, uh, you know, and get uh, get through all of the different little areas that you need to understand how to use. One of them is going to be once you do create a grouping, learning how to read some of the, the basic information about these different trades. Now, there's a couple of things about these groupings that uh, we need to understand first off. And that is, number one, is that you can adjust them. There's a button right here, looks like a little cog wheel, where you can come over here and you can add different items so that they come into that folder. Now, that's very helpful. Some people like to add the trade price, for example, so that they always know exactly what they paid for their different trades. Others are going to want to add some of the option Greeks. If you've been trained on that, that might be very helpful. I personally also like the net liquidation. Uh, that is an item that I put in there because it's very helpful for me to look at relative to what I've got in the position. Uh, and all kinds of different stuff that you could add in here that would that could be helpful for a trader. Now let's go ahead and just add those two in and see how this looks. Now you'll notice a couple of things. It did not bring those two columns, trade price, you know, or net liquidation into the other folders. Doesn't work that way. The little gear button is available for every single grouping folder that you've had. Now you need to get them set up the way you want to. And then from there, you can, you know, kind of customize them group by group by group by group. More on that in a little bit. So here we are, and let's read Apple Computer from left to right. Okay, instrument. That is the definition of what you have. This says AppleInc.com, 100 April 5, 110 calls. It shows my quantity, how much I have. Now you'll notice these different icons right here. If you click on them, it will tell you those are corporate events. This one happens to be an earnings. Now it will show you whenever an earnings is coming up soon or if it's recently passed. A lot of times they'll both be there. Uh, a dividend would be this little green one like on Aetna right underneath. There's a dividend that we can look at. So watch for those buttons. It will show you. If I had any orders, and I don't have an order on Apple, but if I had any orders on Apple, they would be listed out here on the left, you know, and uh, whatnot. The days is for options expiration. This option has 18 days until expiration. Trade price is what it was when you got in. The mark price is what it's worth right now for each of the stock and the option individually. Net liquidation is how much the option or the stock or any of the position is actually worth if you multiply it all the way out. PL open is what your profit and loss is since you opened the position. And then PL day is whatever you made or lost that day on the position. BP effect. BP stands for buying power effect. Okay, That's the best reflection of whether or not, uh, first of all, if it's in parentheses, it means you have margin. Uh, if it's not, that means you spent money for it. Uh, buying power is a reflection of how much your overall cost was to hold the position and whatnot. Now, there's different action menus. You can move the group up or down. You can learn all that. But one of the first steps is just learning how to read this from left to right so you know what you have.